All right, welcome back to A Dash of Life. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out on Sunday, watching the uh, the show with Trishel. We had a great time. Uh, we talked about her business again. We had a great giveaway, $25 gift card to uh, Top Golf. We had a winner for that one, which was Brandy Roberts McNeely. She won the $25 gift card to Top Golf. So tonight, sometime during the show, I'm going to make an announcement on these ones. I've got a $10 uh, gift card to Fuzzy's Tacos as well as $15 to Starbucks. So we'll be announcing that here in a little bit again. Uh, but and see if we can get a winner for that one tonight. Tonight I got a great show. We're going to be welcoming him back. Uh, Mark Damon Brooks, author extraordinaire. Uh, worked with him in the military for a long time. Uh, we talked about his book last time he was on, False Idols. He's got a new one. Uh, that he's got coming out, so we'll be talking about that one as soon as we get him on. Uh, but again, I just want to thank everybody for coming out and supporting A Dash of Life. Uh, I couldn't do the show without everybody watching and uh, giving me good feedback and, and just all your support for everything that we're doing with it. Um, if you're first or new to this show and you've never seen it, the show is all about my friends and all the things that they're doing with their lives, whether they're retired, uh, still in the military, or just you know just doing great things in their lives. So we got a great month coming up still. Uh, we're talking about Book Lovers Month, and we're going to have some artists. Some, uh, I got a friend of mine from, uh, it's a friend of my wife's and mine, uh, Glory. She's going to be coming on in the next couple of weeks. She's an illustrator. She's got a, quite a few books out on uh, Amazon that she's illustrated. So I'll be bringing a couple of those, or one of the books that she's illustrated. I'll be having that on as well. Um, so I can't wait for that. I've got a great show this weekend with uh, Tyshawn Smith from My Military Days. We're going to be talking about uh, tabletop gaming and the resurgence of tabletop gaming and things like that. So I hope that one will be a good one. Tomorrow we got a special uh, uh, Dash of Life coming up with a friend of mine from high school, Thomas Golightly. So we got a lot of great people coming up this month, so I hope you'll stick with us. So I'm going to be bringing on Mark here in just a minute. Uh, as soon as we get him watching, Mark, when you get on there, just shoot me an uh, an invite, and we'll get you uh, we'll get you on. So I hope everybody's having fun with Book Month. I've been posting lots of stuff on Facebook about some of my favorite books, some of my favorite authors, favorite series. Feel free any time of the day to throw your favorite, uh, some of your favorite uh, authors, books, whatever it may be. Um, I have I showed the pictures of all my books. I know I'm probably considered in that uh, that uh, crazy uh, category of, of having too many books, but like uh, one of my friends said, you can never have too many, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. So we're just waiting for Mark to come on and get on so we can uh, do an interview tonight. Uh, if anytime tonight you have any questions for Mark about his books, anything like that, feel free to throw it on there. Uh, I'm sure he'll be glad to answer it or you know, if whatnot like that. Uh, but he's man, he's fantastic. Um, this new one I'm ready to talk about. Um, so it's fan. I, just looking at the cover, it looks fantastic. So we're gonna get him on here in just a second. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the show tonight. Hopefully we don't have any technical difficulties. <laughs> here we go. Hello. And there he is. Welcome back, Mark. Hello. Thanks for having me back. Hello. Uh, anytime, my friend. Anytime. I just love talking about your books, man. This new one. Let's let's let's, let's get into it. Let's talk about this new one you got coming. Um, what, do you, what what can you tell the the folks about? It? So this new one is uh, it's called Somnium, um, which is uh, Latin for something. I don't know. Google it. Uh, and <laughs> it's uh it's about a um, a gentleman whose wife unfortunately passed tragically. And he's had a dream about her passing every night. It was a, it was a car accident, and he just had he's had this nightmare about it every night, uh, until one night he doesn't, and he gets this uh, this new dream, and it's his wife speaking directly to him, and she's like, "Hey, I need your help. This is not a dream." And then this just leads right. him on uh, on a nice little journey of I don't know self discovery, I guess. Um, and uh, it's just it was just a nice fun little tale. It's not really like an action thing. I just kind of wanted a nice slow character uh character based uh story and and uh i hope that uh i hope it delivers yeah man, i'm just looking at the uh just I, all i've seen so far is the cover obviously yeah. and and i i'm not i'm you know 
uh, that old cliche, never judge a book by <laughs> cover. I'm going to judge. It looks fantastic just from oh, um, some of the uh, stuff that you've been putting out about it. When when can we expect that one to hit uh, Amazon? Um, so uh, it's 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 being edited right now. So I've finished it. I, I did like two drafts of it, I think, and I sent it off to an editor. And it should be. I should be able to release it uh, probably in a couple of weeks uh, before the end of the month. Awesome. Uh, so that's my that's my goal, and my goal is to get it a little further past Amazon. So uh, I know the last book right. is exclusively on Amazon. Uh, my goal is to get this um, not necessarily in bookstores because that's kind of up to the stores, right? So if Barnes and Noble right. wants to you know uh, buy the book and, and stock it, that's that's on them. Um, but as far as ebook distribution. I'm trying to get it in uh, Barnes and or you know, on Nook, their version of uh, eBooks, um, Apple Books, uh, Kobo, um, as awesome. well as Amazon. So uh, hopefully, we can reach awesome. more people. If you're if you're not just in the Amazon at, uh, ecosphere, you can kind of you know choose your path. That's excellent, man. Um, so that's that's great. So I, I we last time we talked about more about false mm -hmm. idols, but what I want to get into now is. Who who inspires you as writer as a or, you know who are some of your favorite authors that inspired you to go down this route? I know we talked about comics and, and heroes yeah. and things, but some of the the uh, the authors that have inspired you down the road. Uh, so uh, as a kid, I, I grew up reading Dean Koontz uh, novels. I uh, love Dean Koontz. Um, his older stuff, anyway. I haven't really read a lot of his, his right. more recent things. Um, but uh, absolutely love Jean, uh, Dean Koontz. Uh, Michael Crichton is probably one of my all-time favorite writers. I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan. Uh, if you know me, absolutely. you know that. There's, there's that. There's that. <laughs> that right there. Um, I'm, a, yeah. I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan. Um, and also, let's see. And there's, there's, there's the book right there. Um, so, absolutely. so yeah. I, I, um, so Michael Crichton is probably one of my favorite authors. Um, lately, I've been trying to kind of change it up a little bit and read, you know, some some uh, some authors that I haven't read yet. Uh, there's an author by the name of Martha Wells, uh, who uh, writes the science fiction series about this uh, this robot that um, uh, basically, basically calls itself Murderbot, but it uh, uh -huh. it it kind of goes against its programming and does its own thing, and it's a uh, it's absolutely delightful. It's a nice science fiction uh, tale, and it's quite humorous. So I, I enjoy her. Uh, novels as well. Um, Douglas Preston, uh, Douglas Preston, uh, Lincoln Child. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I love their theirs as well. relic. Yeah, the relic. I actually have the relic right there. Um, yeah, that, yeah, man, what a fantastic. Yeah, yeah I love it. Um, yeah, we're right there on spot as far as uh, as authors go. I, I mean, I've been re you know after Crichton passed, I can definitely tell when the Ghost Riders yeah took up his the, just the difference yeah. in in yeah in styles and it just it's not Crichton. i mean there's still fantastic books but it's just not yeah. Crichton. So. and that happens a lot um like um oh i can't i can't think of his name now i'm i'm totally blanking um the uh, the author that wrote the born identity um oh ludlum robert, robert ludlum. ludlum yeah so uh after he passed same thing uh there's a there's a, yep. a, a ghostwriter that he's worked closely with for years and i mean the guy's great he writes great but, but you can tell like that it's just not there anymore um but yeah, yeah I, okay. I love robert Ludlum novels as well uh, outside of the born uh books uh there's some some really great stuff that um that he's written so uh but yeah those are the authors that, I, that inspire me the most um i really i really love michael Crichton, and i really love uh the authors of the relic series i love that whole series the the yeah it's a great yeah one. the pendergast uh special agent series uh i absolutely yeah. love it so um that's i try to i try to put a little bit of that in there. i don't know if i do a good job because you know michael Crichton is like top tier right so oh yeah, oh, yeah. um but uh, uh there's definitely some of those like influences in there Definitely, you could definitely see it. Yeah, I mean, absolutely, one hundred percent. In your, especially in false idols, you can you get a little bit of what you're where you're going with. What we talked about that last time. So, is there anything that you want to spread your wings on? You, you know, we're 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 hitting the sci-fi, the superhero stuff. Is there anything? Are you looking towards maybe some 
some mystery or some drama type things. Yeah. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to hit that hit with when you write? Yeah, there's so there's you know I have I have all these ideas in my head, right? And I'm just like, ooh, this would be a good idea, but actually, you know, executing that idea is a little different. Yeah. Um, but I I love science fiction. I love you know the whole superhero genre as well. Uh, I think Somnium is a little different than what I'm 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 used to because it is a slower paced type of book it's there's i don't i don't even think there's like an action scene in it it's just it's really this one guy's kind of journey um to see what's going on with this dream about his wife and um but one thing that i'm i'm i think i'm gonna try next um i i, I kind of want to dip into the more humorous aspect of writing just make it just a flat out just try to make a try anyway try to make a flat out just funny uh you know light-hearted book i think that's something right. that you know we we probably need in these in these crazy times um, crazy times absolutely and i have an idea for a thriller i don't know if it would be a thriller but it's not you know intended to be as um as humorous as say you know like lost or false idols was it's it's going to be kind of a more serious uh action-packed um uh story so uh we'll see i don't know what i'm gonna work on uh, after I finish the sequel to False Idols, I'm 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 not sure what I'm gonna do <laughs> next. But do you ever do you ever find yourself like just like driving around or walking or whatever, and just like see something you're like, oh man, yeah, something something just hits yeah. you in your head, and and you're just like, I'm I'm gonna write about something. Yeah, do you ever have that? Yeah, actually, I have um, excuse me, I have a notepad on my phone. Mm -hmm. and it, you know it'll happen yeah just just like that i'll be out walking or i'll be at work or something i'm like ooh, 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 ooh. and I, I just try to like type it down really quick on my phone yeah um but yeah it happens all the time um i mean there's times too like you know before i go to bed or something it'll be you know 10 o'clock at night and i'm just like oh, oh great idea but obviously i'm not gonna like I'm about to go to bed. I'm not going to write right now. So I just jot <laughs> down a bunch of story beats so I don't forget them. Yeah. And then I uh, revisit them later. But yeah, it happens uh, Happens fairly often. Yeah. That's awesome. So what are we, what, what can we expect in, uh, I, I don't want you to give away too mm -hmm. much if you don't want to, but what can we expect in False Idols 2? I know we talked a little bit about it last time. Yeah. Um, are we going to see a new bat? Are we going to see it? We had a, we had a new baddie, I think, uh, pop up there at the end so are we going to get to explore some more of the new bad we are going to explore that uh yeah so at the end spoiler alert uh at the end there was a uh a, a new uh potential protagonist um or antagonist i guess uh yeah uh potential antagonist and um so we'll explore her role in in the in the future or in the new book uh there's also going to be a couple of additional ones um i don't want to spoil too much but uh i think i'm trying to think i don't have a synopsis yet but I, i'm pretty sure this is probably be in the synopsis but um if you haven't read the first book i apologize but uh <laughs> go read it right now false idols on sale uh but um you know there's going to be a void there's that void that's going to be left because of the events of the first book right so um i'm going to explore the kind of disbanding of the team, the potential disbanding of the team, because you know they're they're down technically two members, um, and that void needs to be filled, right? So uh, there may be new superheroes, there may not be. I don't know. So, uh, I so yeah, I went back and reread. I you know because it's a great book to me. I reread it. Well, um, thanks. I'm, I'm I'm falling and falling and falling and falling in love with Gibbs. <laughs> yeah. Gibbs. I don't know. There's something about her. She's just yeah. she's fantastic character and and wonderfully built. So I've got a yeah. got like a little secret crush on. Yeah. Nice. So are we gonna be so are we gonna be seeing Gibbs? So Gibbs is gonna be in the book uh, a lot. I don't know if we'll. I don't know if I'm gonna do it from her perspective because she's gonna work really closely with Malcolm in this book. So yeah. I think everything is gonna be kind of told from Malcolm's perspective. But yeah, Gibbs is definitely in the book. Uh, Gibbs was actually. Uh, that initial scene where Gibbs showed up um, at the accident to talk to Malcolm, uh, that was initially going to be her only like scene in the book. But oh, but wow. I, I like you, I fell in love with Gibbs and I was all like, I gotta have more Gibbs. And then I started kind of fleshing her character out more, like what makes her tick and, and uh, you know, how does she feel about her current position in, in her, her workplace and, and what she wants to do to kind of combat this this threat. And, uh, and it just kind of turned into a whole new character that I did not intend yeah, I, at I, all. I get a little more, I get a little Maria Hill, a little Maria Hillish out yeah. of her a little bit yeah. and some, uh, but yeah, I man, she she's probably, you know, right up there as far as 
top character for me and overall just you, I mean you wrote everything well I mean all character development was yeah. good but man just something about her was like this 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 character just rocks it for me yeah. so congratulations well thanks on that, man really. I appreciate it yeah and it, yes I'm glad you appreciate uh because yeah she wasn't intended to be in the story at all so so yeah um but yeah the second one's going to kind of explore more of Rebecca so it's going to be more about uh Actually, Rebecca's story and her and just kind of her um I guess her her history really and, and mm -hmm. potentially her future I guess um so yeah. I'm going to focus a lot more on Rebecca in the story um and we'll see how that goes yeah I, I that's that's another thing i noticed about that book is you have so many story hooks that you can potentially go yeah. so many different directions if you i mean not that you know but if you ever decided to you have so many story hooks in there and that's i think uh what really captures me uh, about a good author is they leave you with story hooks that you can go you know i want to know more about yeah <laughs> this person or this person this person so i love yeah, it that's what i tried to do it. yeah i was like yeah, i was like here. let's give them a little bit and see if they pick up on like that that was unfinished and then i'll go back to it later and um one thing with uh false idols is i actually cut i can't remember if i mentioned this last time i actually cut out like 20 pages because it was yeah, just said, it was just exposition and i didn't want to just bog the story down with expert it was literally just like 20 pages of like backstory and i was all like nah we'll, we'll save that for the for the sequel so well you can always write an omnibus about it later yeah. and, and have all the character background that's uh, like i said man that's fantastic hey i want to cut in for a minute i want to do a giveaway Ooh. so if you don't mind sticking oh, around while i do this giveaway real quick all right ladies and gentlemen if you are watching it is time for the gift card giveaway, I got a $10 gift card to Fuzzy Tacos and a $15 gift card to Starbucks. All you have to do is put in the comments, Fuzzy Bucks, Fuzzy Bucks, and, and we will draw a winner. As soon as this uh, show is over, I will be letting you know, Fuzzy Bucks in the comments. <laughs> So it's a good, it's a good I, potential I, I, chain I, I, you have there is fuzzy bucks. You can come get tacos <laughs> and coffee. <laughs> you know, hey, it's, it's, it's what it is, but you know, I got so many great, uh, so many great, uh, people that are watching and everything. And I want to reward, I guess it's like a reward for them watching. So it's there. I have, it's great for people to be coming out and watching yeah. this and everything. So, um, uh, so we talked about, uh somnia but and then uh is there anybody that that you got your inspiration from it was it a, where did you get your inspiration for that one? um that was actually just a dream i had it's, it's weird it sounds so cliche right that's like the it's like the cliche answer it's like i had a dream and i had to write it up no but i i, I had this in the, the idea didn't come from the dream well i mean the idea came from the dream but the story wasn't the dream anyway i'll explain so uh, so i uh, i just had this really vivid dream one night and it was like it was it was it was like i was living it right and i and you know there were certain things that were the same and there were certain things that were different and it was just so vivid like to the point where like i was in a car like traveling to a place and i had to go talk to someone it was just like it was very mundane it wasn't like i was riding like a, a unicorn or anything like that it was just it was just a really mundane dream but it was just so vivid and it was so there's so many details in the dream that were different enough to me for when i for me when i woke up i was like this is this is strange. That was kind of weird. Um, and then I had an idea of like, what if the dream was this? And then I just kept kind of expanding <laughs> on that. And then, um, and yeah. then, yeah, that's, that's, I don't want to explain too much because that's right. in the spoiler, uh, territory, but, uh, but yeah, that's, that's, that's really how it, it came about. It was just this really, uh, really vivid dream, kind of similar to what the character is going to experience in the, um, in the book. So, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, like I told you last time, you inspired me to continue writing with mine. Yeah, how's that going? I'm now, I'm. It's going good. I, I, I am up to chapter twenty five. We're, we're hitting that four hundred page mark. So again, I, it's, nice. Nice. <laughs> like you talked about, but yeah. this, this, mine, mine is more going towards the fantasy. I, I mean, one of my favorite genres. Mm -hmm. uh, I love fantasy. I love being able to world build. You know, kind of like you did with the false idols. Yeah. But I just, I feel like you're just like. And I have a friend of mine, uh, Peyton, who's kind of helping me go along with uh, getting a lot of things created or 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 uh, saying, oh, that's, I don't know if that works so much there. So I, Peyton, I love you for helping me <laughs> yeah, out with this. Yeah, it's good to have friends um, like that. Yeah. But 
Uh, man, I just, just watching you and, and, and talking to you and I'm just like, man, I love the way you get your ideas and the way you uh, just do your, your story. So it was like, man, I, I got to do, I'm, not that I want to beat you or not that I want to <laughs> no. do you or anything. It's just, it, that's inspiring to me. And, it, and, and I'm glad that you are down this path and, and I'm hoping we'll see again, like you said, maybe the bookstores will finally, you know, catch on there's been a lot of people that have gone on to, uh, uh, you know, like uh, Amazon and things like mm -hmm. that that started out in eBooks and things like yeah. that that have gone on to get published. So I'm, I'm definitely pulling for you. And every Thanks, time man. I can do it, I'm going to post uh, the, uh, you know, your books or when they come up and I'll do reviews on them. I love them. I love them. Um, so good luck to you in the future. Um, Thank you. Thank as soon you. as this one comes, as soon as Somnia comes out and I read it, I'm getting you back on so we can, you know, do the, we'll dive the after show, the Somnia after yeah, show. Yeah, we'll dive in. Um, and good luck with yours, yeah. man. Yeah, I can't, can't wait till you finish it. We're check it out. Uh, yeah, and, and again, <laughs> it's it's the inspiration you gave. So keep inspiring people. And, and I love seeing everybody else give you comments on just what is, you know, the, how they felt about reading the book. A buddy of mine, David, uh, was uh, stationed in Korea with mm -hmm. him. Man, he jumped on it. He just left it. He said he loves the sh he loves the book, loves Gibbs too. Oh so wow! Well, thanks. Shout out to yeah. Harsh, man. Love you, thanks, buddy. David. Appreciate um, so, so thanks again. I'm gonna get you back on as soon as that book comes out. We read it, okay? Yeah, bro? absolutely. So I love you. Keep doing what you're doing, and and we'll get you back right, on, man. okay, buddy? Yep, thanks, man. Take All care. Right, good night. Yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Mark Damon Brooks, author extraordinaire. Like I said, I as soon as this uh, show is over, I'll be. Uh, 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 doing the drawing, I'll, I'll, I'll let the winner know, I'll contact you, um, but uh, thank you for watching the show. Um, this, this, it's been a really uh, emotional couple of weeks for me. Um, I guess you guys have seen that I've, I'm, I'm, I'm heading up a, uh, a walk in remembrance of my, my good buddy Cliff, uh, who lost his battle with his demons. So, uh, Please, please, and, and this goes to everybody. I know there's a lot of people out there watching, but if you ever feel like you need to talk to somebody, I am here 24-7. You can reach me on Facebook. If you know my phone number, call me at any time. I will be there for you. I promise you. Uh, just know that I'm here for you. A lot of my friends feel the same way. You can contact them if you need to talk to them, but just, you know, Never be afraid to reach out to me. I'm always here for you. I love each and every one of you that watch this show or that is just on my Facebook, period. Just know that I love you. Um, so um, if you want to do anything, I'm going to be having a side up for t-shirts if you want to just, or you want to just give, you know, any kind of kind words to the family. I'll be having that coming up soon and I'll let everybody know. But if you want to, if you're here in Oklahoma and you want to come out and uh, walk with us on July 3rd, you don't have to do the full 22 miles. Uh, you can just come out and do a couple of miles and just to celebrate and, and be part of his life. And I would appreciate that. So to everybody out there watching, I love each and every one of you. Uh, so remember what I say, take care of one another, love one another, and I will see you next Wednesday.